12 in the morning here in, North, in Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Uh, we're getting ready today to go rookie. First off, I wanted to thank all the subscribers and all the fans and friends that are watching this. Thank you for the support and for you guys that are first time tuning in. I hope you guys like what you see because apparently, you know, I'm not too bad. So today we're actually going to go rookie. Um, before we go on the actual ruck, uh, you know, this is something that you're going to be doing all the time in the Army if you do decide to enlist or if you're enlisting and want to know what you're going to be up against. Um, basically, um, rucking is just a lot of walking in the woods, on the roads, dirt roads, soft sand, doesn't really matter. In basic training, um, if I remember correctly, we only rucked on pavement. So like we started off with like a two mile ruck, uh, we went to a four mile ruck, six mile ruck, uh, eight mile ruck, and then we jumped up to a 12 mile ruck. Of course, they're gonna like break you into it and I can just like throw you all the way in all at once. A uh, rut consists of um, a good amount of weight. So in basic training, um, I don't think you ever really get past like 35 pounds. Uh, for us personally, when I went through, um, the only time that we went over like 45, 50 pounds was when we were doing like land nav um, and when we were just getting smoked. Um, smoked is basically a universal word for getting your pushed in, if you know what I mean. It's actually pretty good. It works out with your upper back, lower back, of course your legs. Um, and once you start off small, you can obviously go for a lot longer, heavier weight. Um, you can always use like body weights to get yourself used to it or like the body weight vest that they have. All right, everybody. Yo, what's up, everybody? Say what's up, man. So we're gonna be on our way to the Ritz Epps Trail right now. We're getting ready for this rug, boys. Yes, sir. We got, we got Marquez in the back. Out of regulation, doesn't have his top on, dude. That's crazy. Hey, but we don't know him though if he gets caught up, right? Yeah. No idea. We don't know that before. Uh, I don't know you guys. Oh, yeah, so now you don't know us. So now you don't know us. So now you don't know us. You, don't, so now you, don't know us. you want to walk back? My Uber driver, they're just making a video. I can drop you off right here in the middle of the street. <laughs> he said my Uber driver's making a video. Yeah. <laughs> hey, get up the car, Claire. Go and get the car. So stick with us, man. We're on our way. The rug itself. Um, like the ones that we have are going to be standard issue rucks. So, this is a rug. It comes with steaming pouches inside. So, this is for like for like easy access to things you might need in the field. I always have a, a Gerber, which is like a universal tool that has knives, you know, scissors, you name it. It's like a multi tool. Batteries for my headlamp um, and a lock. Don't ever have ever used it, but it's gonna have it. It's in a waterproof bag because when you rock in the military, run, rain or shine, you will be out there. Trust me, it does not matter. If you look here, there's a couple components to the rock. So this here at the bottom is your kidney kidney belt. Um, obviously, it covers your kidneys. Um, it's just for the for the frame of the actual rock itself. It doesn't like bang into you all that. Some people actually have some pretty cool ideas. So like when you rock, obviously you're gonna go ahead and. Um, Depending, I don't use it personally, but some people do, it's very beneficial. One reason I don't use it is because the kidney pad itself actually rubs on my uh, my belt and it rubs on my skin. It causes so much friction, it just gets me raw down there. Um, what you could do, so obviously we have the connectors here, connect to the other side, you're good to go. But we still have like this little bit of movement that a lot of people don't like. But if you're one of those that do want to use it, you could also roll up a t-shirt or a towel and put it in the middle between here in the frame and it'll keep it sturdy. Uh, I've seen a lot of people do that um, and it actually works for them. All right, so there's three types of infantrymen. Yes, sir, number one here, baby. We got right standard. here. Oh, we call him the standard. The standard. All right. We call this regulations, all right? Regulations right here. I'm reality. <laughs> <laughs> You're what, Marquez? I'm the reality. He's reality. So this is right, nicely packed, nicely firm. Nice and cute. All right, so that's the standard. That's what we call the standard. Then you got regulations, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's good to go. It's still there, you know what I'm still saying? Regs, man. Still it's in regs. Out Compacted, you know? The only yes, things, my, my statements were taped and they ripped, so we're good with that, though. Don't worry about that, <laughs> you know? So that still looks good. And then you got this. What? What this happened go get, go get here, dude? First off, what the hell happened, dude? 
Marquez. When you go through the army selection, you wouldn't know about this, but um, <laughs> get out there. that gets too big oh, and you have need bungee cord to strap it down. That's crazy. You know about it one day, though. don't worry about it. The funniest part is that we all went to selection at the same time. <laughs> And my rug still didn't have bungee cord on there. I don't think it had bungee cord on there, dude. So yeah, we got it. We got to have, we have the Danners here. We got the Danners here. What you got over here, dude? Got the Garmont. Got the Garmont. He's got the Bifidus. The Bifidus. Yeah, what you got, got over here? Trustworthy NFS is. You got baby. the NFSs. All three great boots to rock in, dude. Yes, sir. All right, let's get it. If you, if you see here, this like plastic part, that's called your Molly. Molly is basically the the ability to be able to a, attach things to the rug itself. It's like little like little holes basically, and you have the back piece that comes with your shoulder straps. Your shoulder straps also have these things called load lifters. So you see these little things right here. If you don't have these load lifters in your on your rug, you are going to suck for sure. 100% you're gonna just regret it life as is. Um, to help you like pull on, so when you pull them, it actually lifts the weight a little higher on your shoulder so that when you're running, it's not all on your back. You want it to be distributed, you want the weight to be distributed higher up. Also, when you, when you start packing this thing, you wanna put the lightest things you have at the bottom and you wanna put the heavier things on top. Um, that's to help distribute with the weight. Also, what I have up here, it's gonna be my two core canteens. Typically, I don't ever use them. I have them full of water and I, I never drink them. Um, and then of course, got some shorter straps with the quick release. This is for in case you're in water and you're gonna drown. Always make sure to have this checked out before you take off to any type of patrol mission or anything you got going on. Just always wanna make sure, you always wanna double check your equipment regardless of what it is or what you're doing. Um, you always make sure it's functioning and operative. So here you'll see it actually has the top flap here. This thing actually has two two spaces. See at the bottom there's one way to reach it. I um, you can actually there's a little thing inside that uh, you see that's here? That's actually a shelf. So you don't actually necessarily need to have the shelf. Um, Clothes. I mean, my thing is, I like to have my seat system, which is like my sleeping bag, my waterproof bivy, what they call it, um, and my woobie. My woobie is I would be cold if I did not have it. So I like to have that at the very bottom. Um, I'll keep that like in a plastic bag to make sure that it doesn't get wet um, because I don't like sleeping wet. I mean, it's going to happen. Most of the time, you might not even be able to use your sleep system, but when you do get the opportunity to use it, you don't want to be wet. That's the best way to actually dry your clothes off. So when you sleep in your sleep system, you're gonna have the sleeping bag layer, then you're gonna have the waterproof layer. When you sleep in there, you actually have to sleep naked. What? It's the only way to keep yourself warm, guaranteed. If you sleep in your sleep system with your clothes on, they're gonna be wet when you wake up. It's the insulation inside the sleeping bag that actually keeps the moisture in. You wake up, and especially if you have cotton, done so. So make sure to go naked and in between those layers I was talking about, you wanna put your clothes in there so that it starts taking the heat from your body and dries off the clothes, which is the best thing and craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. It works, and trust me, it does it. That's where the Ranger panties come in. If you don't wanna be naked, you can wear the Ranger panties underneath. Everybody knocks it, everybody makes fun of me, but that comes in pretty handy. So we're on mile one right now. Just a quick little warm up before we take off. Yeah, we're not running yeah. today. We're not running today. We're actually yeah. just trying to, we're doing it for the clout right now. <laughs> doing it for the clout. But actually though. Yeah. You know, but the trick, the trick to rooking, what do you got, what do you got a tip for rooking, right? What kind of tip you got? Uh, honest to God, dude, the first two miles kind of suck. Especially if your ruck's a little bit heavier. You're, you're kind of your body hasn't gotten to that point where it's like oh i'm gonna just keep doing this you know so right now i just am not gonna be a bitch for this video but it kind of sucks <laughs> so in about a mile mile and a half like i'm gonna be straight the most that i've ever done is like 25 miles started at 4 30 in the afternoon it finished at 2 30 in the morning so you just got to be like focused on that one thing like getting to the end there's always hope in the promised land. You will reach the promised land eventually. When that moment comes, you know you're there. In the meantime, you suffer. 
And that's how you get it done. Embrace the suck, baby. Embrace the suck. Embrace the suck. Embrace it. Make it yours. Yeah. And love it. See, you're never lonely if there's pain. Pain is growth. Pain is growth. Let's get that one. So here on the flap itself, it has like a easy compartment to access any little things here and there. I like to put my snacks in there. When you look at the sides here, you're gonna have all these crazy straps. So all these straps lead into the front. So when you pack this rock, you're gonna have like a, what they call uh, a packing list. That packing list can consist of, can consist of numerous things, more, uh, more uniforms, more boots, obviously your tarps, your sleep systems, uh, you're gonna have your wet weather clothes, your, your cold weather clothes, um, you're gonna have a pair of socks, t-shirts, basically everything you're gonna need for a week or two weeks of living is gonna be in this rug. So it's right now, you, it's, it's small, but when you actually are ready to go, it's gonna be huge. You see these little, you see I have mine through this slot in the middle. Um, if you're a smaller dude, you might wanna go through the middle one um, that's just to help your shoulders be able to survive longer and last longer. Um, that's the little tricks that we picked up and noticed. Um, when you get a ruck, you want to make sure to just to mess with it as much as you can. Um, it's pretty dope. This is a sleeping pad. We call it a push pad. You can take it for what you want. Now, you'll keep it outside. I use bungee cords to actually keep it on the ruck itself. So before I used to put it through these straps, these straps go from the top to the bottom to keep the flap down and keep all your stuff inside of it. Like so. See here, just pull it down, cinch it down. Um, I used to put the, the sleep system inside of that and I thought it was the most inconvenient thing in the world because every time I opened up my rug, my sleep system would fall out and it was just the biggest annoyance. It made me not want to even open my rug and I didn't care if I did ever need something in there. So with buying the bungee cords and putting them on the exterior and attaching them to the inside of the, of the mound, you see there? That's one of the best moves you can do. Where are we going? Oh no, look who it is, dude. Come on, fool. Stand back, Sandy. <laughs> Follow me to the promised land. To the promised land. Would be to kind of embrace your environment. My thing is looking to the side and go and finding a happy place. Happy place. I know it sounds, I know it sounds super cliche, but when you find a happy place, you completely forget of what you're doing, where you're going, and everything's just done. Like I said before, as long as you prep before the rut, ate a good amount of carbs, and got some simple sugars in you, you're gonna make it every time. Let me get to it, we'll tune back in. One other thing you're gonna be using a lot in training here at Swick, it's gonna be this here. So this is your flick. Your flick, usually it's used for carrying ammunition and carrying your trinkets and carrying your radios and stuff. But here you use them to what carry canteens. So you put put two one two quart two one quarts right there. It's a standard issue flick. Um, so it comes with the back strap. You connect it here like so. Boom. So this goes across your back. You adjust it as so. You got zippers here. And here at the bottom. One cool thing that I always have attached to it is my Ranger beads. So Ranger beads is basically when, you, so when you do land navigation, you're gonna be going through the woods and you're using a compass, a map, and a, and a protractor. Um, you're gonna calculate your azimuth, the direction you're gonna be going, you're gonna count the distance. So you say you're going 700 meters. That's, that's a pace count that you would have to walk. So you walk 100 meters, and count, you start off on your right foot and you count every left step. At the end of those 100 meters, you do repetitively, you get the average the steps that you take. That's gonna be your pace count. So when you're walking every 100 meters, these little beads right here, you walking, walking 100 meters, drop one. So now you know you've gone at least 100 meters and you're counting so on, so forth. And then the top ones here, these are kilometers. So when you walked a thousand meters already, boom, you drop one of those, continue on the count. Reset, continue on the count. All right, guys, so sometimes in the military, people go down and the boys go missing. So there goes one boy. He's Where'd gone. he go, dude? Marquez is gone. We lost Rafael, dude. Rafael's gone. We don't know what happened. 
So man, he's all right though. He usually is a good rocker, but he's he has a little bit of feet problem right now. Actually, I'm pretty sure at selection, he was faster than all of us. Yeah, I, I, he finished before I'm us. Sure he, he was always like the top, like 30, I think. Yeah. There's the real tip I wanted to give you. Take care of your feet. Yeah, that's Please, actually like, true. If you take care of your feet. They'll take care of you. Your feet will take care of you. Once your feet go, you, you can't go, go anymore. You're done. You, you can't, can't do nothing. Nothing. So always change your socks if they always get wet. Always change your socks. Keep extra boots. Insoles for your boots too. Yeah, and get some good socks. So like darn tough. For sure, I'm wearing darn toughs right now. I'm wearing darn toughs right now too. Cause they got wool in them. They got cushion in the ankles. Medium weight, get the medium weight. We're still going. Marquez, where are you buddy? Uh, for all the POWs and MIAs, <laughs> we do it for them. Yeah, so, oh, and then uh, one other thing I like to do um, before ruck, you have to make sure to get lubed up, man. What? I know. It's like, what are you talking about, dude? This is gonna be your best friend right here. What you wanna do is get, get all naked. I've already done this. Get all naked. Gather a little bit on your hands, right? Start off with the nipples. I know it sounds super weird. I know this. But when you're rucky for a long time, this t-shirt and this blouse is gonna turn to sandpaper. You wanna put them on your neck because the straps start kind of grinding down on you a little bit, so put a lot on your neck. Um, personally, my area that I put a lot is towards you know the groin area. I'm gonna just put a bunch down there because I got big boy legs, so they be grinding up on each other. And ain't nobody trying to get that friction over here, you know what I'm saying? That's like some insects. Ain't nobody trying to do that. You know, so we gotta put make sure to PDA on it. Try to make sure to eat um, some type of breakfast in the morning. You want some carbs for sure because you're gonna be, you know, walking, well, running slash walking with a good amount of weight on your back and you wanna make sure not to pass out on there. Um, one thing to carry on you, if it's possible, um, any kind of little sugar. The simple sugar is the first thing that goes um, and it's like an extra energizer bunny when you're actually in the rug in the middle of it and you feel like you're starting to see the black tunnel close in on you. Pop in like some Skittles or something. I'm not saying eat the whole bag of Skittles. I'm just saying pop in a couple of Skittles, handful, like a couple, six to eight of them, boom, chew them now. You're gonna get a second win and you're gonna make it all the way through. But one thing that I did wanna make sure to let you guys know is to stay hydrated um, regardless of where you are or what you're doing. It's a big, no, no to pass out with a rug on you, man. Don't be that guy, guys. I'm not wearing my ring right now because I'm going on a ruck. And Jalen knows I personally hate anything on my hands when I'm out there. So don't get mad, babe. And guys, ladies, make sure your girl knows when you do stupid things with your stupid friends. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in on that one. We finished up the ruck. We did five miles. Um, today was a short one. It was the first day back, so we're all pretty sore right now. Put it down, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're all pretty sore, all right? I'm holding it down out here. <laughs> As you saw, Marquez, we found him now. So, uh, he's he's here, he made it. You know, with no he man left behind, back, guys, hey. what did we tell you? No man left behind. Yeah, when you run the whole thing, you tend to get lost. You know, you leave people behind, but I mean, have to lead the way that's somehow. That's crazy, dude, because. I will never leave a fallen comrade. I'll never leave on comrade. <laughs> well, thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure to subscribe. Um, there's more videos to come. And if you like it, please leave a comment and like the video, subscribe, and let everybody else know that we, we popping.